Well, next at six, it's been a fairly quiet last week in Clintonville after nine days of mysterious booming noises that have been waking residents up. Tonight, the city confirms one of the booms has been captured on a recorder. News 3's Mark Lovacott has an update. It was March 24th, just before four in the morning, when Brian Sullivan finally heard what he had been waiting days for. I pointed the, uh, the microphone in the area of Olin Park. It's the lowest area in the, um, in the city. And just a few seconds after pressing record, he captured this. Clintonville city officials confirm it's the same noise that has been waking up residents there for weeks. It took a few days, but... Uh, it was successful. The Sun Prairie resident and audio student at Madison College says curiosity caught the best of him and he was determined to go and capture the sound. The U.S. Geological Survey has taken a quick listen to the clip and provided this graph of the audio. Experts say first inspection of this graph shows it's consistent with what they would expect for an earthquake. The one thing that sticks out in my mind the most is the way the ground shook after the boom. I heard the boom, like I consciously registered it as, as the boom, and then felt the ground shake. Meanwhile, four seismometers on loan from Michigan have been installed to try and capture readings of the booms. They're trying to gather enough data to determine if indeed we're talking about seismic activity. And we have just learned within the last hour that those seismometers are working. A professor from Michigan analyzed a boom event from last Thursday and determined it most likely was a 0.1 magnitude earthquake, very small. So officials are saying it's very likely that we're dealing with small swarms of quakes in the area, but they will be analyzing more data from those seismometers to try and come up with more definitive answers for those residents. That should be interesting. Yeah. All right, thanks so much, Mark. Sure.